Hi, my name is Dan O'Connor. I work for the Public Utilities in the Wastewater Division. We're here to talk to the community of New Ulm about I&I. and &I. I, and I is twofold. It's infiltration and inflow. The focus of the vi this video will be talking more about inflow, but we'll discuss infiltration. Uh, infiltration uh, gets into the sanitary system infrastructure through cracks and crevices, defects in our, our sanitary collection system within New Ulm. A couple years ago, the city, the wastewater department, purchased a camera truck and we've been compiling data and videotaping our infrastructure around town and trying to find areas that are in need of repair. Today we want to talk about inflow, which gets into the sanitary system through roof leaders, which is more commercial downtown area, and sump pumps, which is more of a residential issue. Some pumps are installed in, in people's houses to protect their basement. Some sort of tile system is put around the outside of your foundation and that water is then tiled and piped into a sump pit into your basement. It's perfectly legal to have a sump pump in your, in your basement, but it's illegal to have that water discharged into the sanitary system via either a floor drain or a laundry tub or maybe even pipe into the sanitary somehow. Why is inflow infiltration uh, an issue at the wastewater plant? Basically all that water we're talking about is clean water. It, it doesn't need to be treated. It can hydraulically overload the plant and then I guess the big concern at the wastewater plant is it dilutes our wastewater. We don't have the typical wastewater stream coming into the plant. The other issue we have is a typical 8 inch line can handle wastewater from 200 homes. But as soon as you add six or eight people adding sump pump water to that eight inch line, it can cause some overflows and some backups in the residential basements. The concern there is obviously there is bacteria and different things in that wastewater that aren't safe. We understand you know, some houses within New Ulm do not have sump pumps, but obviously to do this fair, we need to verify, meaning that we're gonna try to access everybody's house within the summer or within two summers time frame. So we'll, we'll be out this summer with a staff of people ringing doorbells and, and hanging notifications that we will need to get into your house to inspect your basement to make sure that your sump pump, if you have one, is discharging properly to either outside your house or ideally uh, plumbed right to the street so it can be collected by the storm collection system we have in town and, and discharged properly. We don't encourage you to call in advance. We do have a, a map set up and we have areas in town that we want to hit and try to do this in a uniform manner. New Ulm is not the only city that's taken on uh, sump pump inspections. It's been part of our city ordinance that this water is not to be discharged to the sanitary sewer. We encourage people to be proactive and if you know you have a sump pump that is illegally discharging, please take it upon yourself to investigate what you can do to get that water discharged out of your basement in the proper manner. Once again, you know, we're, we're doing this to, to protect uh, our infrastructure, to protect the community, the residents of New Ulm, and to protect our wastewater plant and the efficiency of it. Every community, I think, deals with I&I &I at one time or another. We're just trying to tackle this one step at a time. Like I said, we've worked on the infiltration part of it. We have half the city videotaped and inspected. The next step now is to look at sump pumps, and then the final step of the I&I &I will be to continue to repair the infrastructure that we're identifying as faulty, and then, of course, look at uh, roof leaders and the downtown area of New Ulm to try to eliminate as much I&I &I as possible. Thank you.